Hi, this is uh, an overview of my programmable red, green, blue LED lamp. Um, at the heart of the lamp is a LED engine 40 watt RGB LED module. And that in turn is driven by a LED driver board. Okay, so the schematic looks like this. There's three channels, so this is the schematic for one channel. Um, so we have a, we need a power supply, which is um, at least 18 volts and can be um, anything up to maybe 30 volts or more. Uh, the, it's designed in such a way that it's it's the voltage is not too important as long as it's over a certain threshold. Um, the green channel on this particular LED module needs a, at least 16 volts because it's um, it's four green LEDs in series, so um, it needs at least 18 volts in order to be able to drive it. Um, so um, we have. Um, at the heart of it, a um, a power MOSFET, which is driven by a an Arduino uh, PWM line, and um, the we have a um, a resistor here at the low end. This serves two purposes. Uh, one is to act as a um, a, cur a, cur a constant current or current limiter. Uh, what happens is as the uh, the current increases through the LED, um, a voltage starts to build up over here, and as the voltage builds up here, the um, the effective gate voltage um, begins to drop. So at a certain point, an equilibrium is reached. So regardless, um, so uh, above a certain threshold, you can increase the voltage here, uh, but it won't. Um, it won't um, change the current going through the LED. Um, I've got a potentiometer here um, to allow um, to um, set, uh, um, set the, the current at a particular level. So uh, this particular LED module is rated for one amp per, per channel. So um, I found that uh, somewhere about three and a half to four volts is what was needed to um, set this so that I got one amp uh, going through the LED. Um, I also found that the um, the sharp rise and fall edges of the PWM signal um, caused a fair bit of ringing. Um, at this point, um, I mean, one of the other purposes of this resistor here is to measure the current um, going through the LED by um, connecting uh, the Arduino ADC here and um, with the um, with the sharp rise and fall edge of the PWM signal um, I found that there was a lot of ringing here um, and it was uh, certainly overshooting the AD, the allowed ADC um, range so uh, this capacity here um, dampens down the the rise and fall edge of the PWM signal and uh, and reduces the the ringing. Um, the, the the reason for the ringing is that um, the this LED module is connected via about a one meter of flex, so there's um, there's a significant inductive load here. Um, so let's let's have a look at quick look at the board. So this um, we have the Arduino, which is currently duct duct taped in place. Um, these are the PWM lines, and the PWM then is um, the PWM five volt is is trimmed down to um, whatever voltage is is needed to drive the LEDs at one amp with these um, trim pots here. Uh, and underneath the trim pot is the uh, capacitor used to limit the damping, or the limit the the ringing. Um, 
and these are the three power MOSFETs here. Um, a fair bit of power being dissipated through these MOSFETs, so uh, I found that very large heat sinks were needed. And even still, the um, with these heat sinks, the red channel is the, the heat sink gets up to at least 70 uh, Celsius. Um, and these, this is the the uh, current limiter and current sense resistor. Uh, I probably overspec those a little bit. Um, they they could have been they could have been a, a, a smaller wattage. Um, and um, finally, um, just for safety measure, I added um, a polyfuse on the high side of each of the channels. Uh, I think they will trip at maybe, I think, two or three amps. Um, and that's it. The, yeah, and the Arduino then is driven by a um, computer of some sort. Um, my idea is to use a Raspberry Pi as the actual control the um the system that will actually send the commands to the Arduino. Um 